Hello everyone, in this episode, Bobay didn't care to see the photo of Mansuk who fell because Doksu came to see her. That time, Doksu came to take the album he previously gave to Bobay. It was his and Mansuk's only memory. That's why he wanted to take the album back. Meanwhile, Bobe wanted to meeting to be her last meeting with Doksu. She no longer wanted to see Doksu. Before leaving Bobeja, Doksu took Bobe's comp and he intended to carry out a genetic test between him and Bobe. Another story came from Dajong, who started to want to trust her father. As her father's daughter, she must believe that her father didn't kill Saren's father. She had to return to her father so they could fight Saren together. Then there was Johan who got information about Yang Sik. He received information that Yang Sik grew up to have a very bad life history. He was a very drunk gun gambler. Apart from that, he also came to Sarang orphanage some time ago. He didn't know the relationship between Sarang and Yang Sik yet, but soon he will because an expert he hired was still investigating Yong Sik's background. At the end of this episode, Sharon was scared because her father's photo was no longer in the book. She looked for the photo but she couldn't find it. At the same time, Doksu was waiting for the result of the genetic test to come out. He wanted Dajong to meet her biological grandmother even though Dajong had not been able to meet her biological mother. He has made Dajong suffer all this time. At least he wanted Dajong to be happy when she met her grandmother. On the other hand, there was Dwobe who was looking for her comb. She went to Saran's room probably to ask if Saran knew where her comb was. But Saran, who at the time had not found her father's photo, thought that Bobe had seen her father's photo and she thought that Bobe had seen through her lie. Okay everyone. That's the storyline this time. Thank you for watching my video.